This is Oki from Everyday Beans. Uh, this video, it's been a long time since I've done a video. I'll try to be better, but you'll see what I'm trying to do. But right now, I did want to talk about this particular coffee that I got going for me. This right here is a Crown Royal. You can see it right there. I usually get these from time to time. Most of the time I do get these, it's for myself or to just experiment. Sometimes I do sell it on the, on the website. But this one in particular, the reason why I got it because it's because this has been a long time since I've had a uh, Kenyan coffee. Kenyan coffee is one of my favorite coffees along with Ethiopian. But the last one that I did have was about three, four years ago. And I wanted to get something that will hopefully surprise me and challenge me and, and all that good stuff. So this one right here is a Crown Jewel Kenyan Momwi Mahiga Double Fermented and Double Washed. I usually go for the cleaner cups, so the wash coffees. I tend to stay away from the fermented coffees. They're funky and more funky. They're, they're in a way to where it can be off-putting to a lot of people. So, this is what it is. Let me take this off now. Let me have this on here. <clears throat> Go ahead and show you what the green coffee looks like. So, that's what it looks like right there. If you can see it. Uh, I can't do this. I'll get better. Trust me. And I actually roasted this coffee. couple of weeks ago it's been about about a month almost today is January the 5th happy new year and I roasted this a month ago the 7th of January of, of December and I actually tasted it a couple days ago I tasted this coffee uh, I think it was oh, almost a week ago, a couple days ago. And truthfully, I, I wasn't too happy with it. <laughs> um, I did my roast degree to see what I'm working with. And it was just a quick, simple roast, you know, nothing special or spectacular about the roast, the way I roasted it. But it's a 70 on the outside, 70 color. And in the, in the interior of the coffee, it is a 66. So it was roasted relatively uh, even. It's lighter on the outside than on the inside. So when I tasted this coffee, I had it with my V60 dripper. Let me bring that out for you so you can see what I'm talking about. This is it right here. You put a filter up top if you don't know. And then you usually you put a cup. Imagine this being a cup or a uh, vessel where you can put the uh, brewed coffee inside of it and you pour water. So many people have different things, the way they go about it. I'll show you that a little bit later in another uh, video. But get closer. There we go. That makes sense. But yeah, so we uh, brewed the coffee, put the coffee in here. It's, relatively a, a fine grind, you know? And I brewed the coffee and I tasted it and it tasted very vegetable, uh, very light, very acidic. I did not like it at all. Um, I did taste it again and it was more so the same. You know, and I, that's one of the reasons why I went ahead and uh, roasted this coffee or brewed this coffee three to four weeks later because I wanted to to totally degas. Usually whenever you roast coffee, you uh, you can drink it immediately, but to me it doesn't taste as good as it can be in three to four weeks, up to two months to me. Uh, I know there's many debates out there of people saying uh, what's the best 
temperature and all that stuff for coffee. But I didn't want to let you know that this is the coffee that I brewed. I went ahead and did a uh, espresso. I have espresso grinder. I'll show you some uh, some B-roll. Uh, what I mean by me uh, brewing some espresso coffee. I did two, two of them, and it tasted okay. It tasted like uh, I've heard that this coffee in particular, this Kenyan double fermented coffee, tastes a lot better or really comes alive when you do espresso. And it kind of did, but it was just like mm, I want something else. You know, I want something that makes a little bit more sense when it comes to trying a coffee. And the reason why I'm doing this in particular, like I said, this coffee is not going to be really on sale for, for everybody. I will give it out to different people just to get their opinions and see what they think about it and all that good stuff. Um, they get, I did have a friend get back to me telling me that it was smooth and his wife said it was smooth and bright. He said he couldn't really decipher what it was either. But to me, it, it needs some work, mainly on the brewing side. Not on the brewing side, but mainly on the roasting side. So I'm gonna be roasting. Let me tell you about the reason why this coffee is really special. Um, the reason why is because me being a coffee roaster, I have access to essentially any coffee that I want to uh, to play around with or to, to sell to people. And a lot of times the coffees that I do offer are coffees that really work well with a big crowd. It won't really offend anybody, so to speak. They're very approachable, you know? But in this case, I wanted to give you some type of insight into my thought process and the way I go about selecting coffees for my personal reasons, uh, the way I go about brewing them. So we're going to go through a, a long journey. Not so much long. This is, I only have 21 right now, relatively speaking. I have 21 pounds left and I'll be roasting all these coffee on my smaller uh, roaster but we're going to be roasting it different ways trying different things and then um, brewing it so many different ways i'm also going to be introducing different brewers that i use on the day to day to kind of give you an idea of, of my thought process of going through a real coffee journey with a roaster you know like i don't know if other roasters really do this you know but i do want to give you an idea about why I do certain things, what my palate is looking for in a coffee, and different ways that I go about brewing it, even roasting it, and you know, that's, that's kind of like the whole process. And I think that's very important to you because a lot of times when I do have a big batch of coffee, I kind of do this anyway, because I want to understand the coffee. I want to see if it's gonna gel with my clientele, you know, and even if it's a coffee that's very natural or approachable to m many people, I still go through this process of roasting it different ways, brewing it different ways, so then I can give you a better understanding of what the what you will get in a cup. You know, I don't want to really be the person to be like, "This is what you're gonna taste in a cup." No, 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 no. We are here to learn and grow and to explore together. You know, so that's what this is all about. So, um, like I said, all this stuff, me moving my hands randomly and all that good stuff, I think that will get better. It should get better. Um, I'll fix up the place and all that stuff so it looks a little bit more appealing. But I think my biggest thing is to try to give back to people to create some type of real community. Um, that word is very, uh, lost on me quite a bit because people throw it out a lot of times. But I do really wanna create some type of community where people can come and talk to other like-minded people <coughs> about coffee, about rituals, things that they like to do. 
And this is not going to be like a stuck up type of situation. Tell me about your career too. Tell me what you like about it, what you don't like about it. You know, even though I use different type of tools, I do play around with things that everybody does use. So, and hell, I may learn something from you too. So, so that's what I got going. This is a Kenyan <clears throat> double wash, double fermented. First crack at it, not a fan. <laughs> you know, trying to be truthfully, really honest about the situation to let you know about that. But I think it can get better. And we're gonna be trying to do different things as we go about trying to see if we can get it to get better. And then I think once we dial it in roast wise, then that's where we can really have that fun when I actually go about brewing the coffee. You know, it's like waking up and brewing the coffee and and seeing what it'll taste like and showing my recipes and all that good stuff. So this is Everyday Beans signing off and I'll talk to you later. Bye.